for more such videos subscribe to Jagran Josh and press the bell icon to never miss a new video from Jagran Josh Hello and a very warm welcome to this special video today where we shall be talking about the quantitative aptitude tricks and shortcuts for CAT 2018. CAT toppers have termed the quantitative aptitude section as the most scoring section in the CAT exam. Well, in order to crack the quantitative aptitude section, the CAT aspirants have to be able to learn and adopt quad tricks and quad shortcuts. Let's find out first the square of two digit numbers. The quant shortcut helps the aspirants to find the square of two digit numbers easily. In order to do so, the aspirants can follow the following steps. Step 1. Find the difference for the number of which you need the square of 25. This will be the first two digits of the answer. Step 2. Find the square of the difference for the number of which you need the square from 50. This will be the last two digits of the answer. In case of carry over, add the carry over to the answer derived from the first step. If you want to find the square of 51, the first step is to find the difference from 25. That is 51 minus 25 is equal to 26. The next step is to find the difference from 50. That is 51 minus 50 is equal to 1. Now we need to find the square of 1 that would be 1. So the final answer would be 2601 that is 2601 hence the square of 51 is 2601 which should be your final answer finding the square of three digit numbers to find the square of a three digit number through a mathematical process is a long tedious process and may not be advisable for the cat students hence there is a shortcut method of finding the square of three digit numbers which is as follows let us now find the square of x y z the first step is last digit is equal to the square of last digit z the second step is the second last digit is equal to 2 into y into z plus any carry over from step 1 the third step is third last digit 2 into x into z plus square of y plus any carry over from step 2 The fourth step is fourth last digit is 2 into x into y plus any carry over from step 3. And the fifth and the final step is beginning of result will be the square of x plus any carry over from step 4. Let's say if we have to find the square of 221. Step 1 last digit. Square of last digit is equal to 1. Step 2 the second last digit is 2 into 2 into 1 plus any carry over from step 1 which is equal to 4 plus 0 and hence the answer is 4 the next step is the third last digit which would be 2 into 2 into 1 plus square of 2 plus any carry over from step 2 the answer is 8 in step 3 the next step is step 4 the fourth last digit is 2 into 2 into 2 plus any carry over from step 3 the answer over here would be 8 step 5 which is the final step is the beginning of result will be square 2 plus any carry over from step 4 hence the answer of step 5 is 4 and hence your final answer would be the square of 221 which would be equal to 48841 Finding average or change and average Here's how you can find average or change and average questions using a shortcut technique The first step is to find the difference between the old average and new number The next step is to divide the difference by the sample size for average It will give you the average increase The final step is to multiply the average increase by the sample size Now let's give you an example for the same For example, the average of a batsman in 16 innings is 30. In the next innings, he scores 70 runs. What will be his new average? Now let's answer through a regular method. The total runs scored by the batsman in 17 innings would be 480 plus 70, which would be equal to 550. The total innings played would be equal to 17. 
Hence, the new average would be the total runs scored by the batsman divided by the total innings played, which is equal to 550 divided by 17, and the final answer would be 32.35. Now, let's try and find out this answer using the shortcut technique. So let's now try and find this answer through the shortcut technique. The steps that we told you earlier in the shortcut technique shall now be applied to this example. So the first step we told you in the shortcut technique was calculate the difference between old average and new number. In this case of the example, it would mean 70 minus 30 which is equal to 40. That is the difference between the new score and the old average is equal to 40. The second step is to divide the difference by the sample size for average. This will give you the average increase as we had told you. So if we apply this to our example, 40 extra runs are spread over 17 innings. So the innings average will increase by 40 divided by 17 which is equal to 2.35 which is of course our average increase. And the final step to get our answer is to multiply the average increase by the sample size. So in this case, the average increase increases by 30 plus 2.35 which is equal to 32.35. And hence that is the way how the shortcut technique gets you the same answer through a much more faster and a better option. So friends, these were just a few quant tricks that would help to increase your speed and accuracy and also help you crack the CAT exams to be able to qualify through IIMs. So here's wishing you all the best of luck. And at the same time, if you happen to like this video, then go ahead and like it and share it. And to watch similar videos, do go ahead and visit our website www.jagranjosh.com. Till the next time, it's a goodbye.